An elementary school science project is raising eyebrows and questions. A second grader gave his presentation on best bombs and the best way to burn stuff. News 13's Cole Miller is live at Corrales Elementary with what parents and the school have to say about it. Cole? Well, good afternoon, Kim. The school here held their science fair last night, and one exhibit stuck out compared to the others. The district says that project put together by a second grader was misinterpreted. Honestly, I don't believe that that assignment should have been allowed. I don't think it was meant to hurt anybody. Yeah. Parents here at Corrales Elementary School are split over what they saw at last night's science fair. More specifically, this project. Its title, Best Bombs, put together by a second grader. Albuquerque Public Schools says that student used popsicle stick boats and different fuels such as tiki torch fuel and lighter fluid to see what burned the fastest and that it had nothing to do with building or glorifying weapons of mass destruction. It's kind of odd that they would do it, but like I said, after we were talking about it, it's... Uh probably just a bad title for his project. I believe in, you know, students and children being able to um, explore different scientific options um, for a science fair project, but I think that one was a little bit extreme and that could cause future concern. In a statement, APS says that students are, quote, encouraged to come up with catchy titles for their projects, and that's what happened in this case. According to the project's procedure, the goal was to see how long the boat would burn before sinking. Uh, I believe the school is very well uh, rounded here in Corellis and, um, and I think as much as the parents are involved in the school, that that's not a real concern of mine at this point. Now that student was not burning those boats at the school. He was doing that at home. The district says going forward, the school will, will review all projects and their titles to make sure something like this, Kim, doesn't happen again. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now the school's principal did not want to talk on camera. Like the district, she says it was all a misunderstanding.